What is happening, y'all? Welcome on back. Let's take an in-depth look at the new magic we unlocked before we get going. So I was looking through it. Uh, pull start, the big thing with this one is it looks like this is meant to just target everything that's been hit with a dart. And it's going to send out a spear for each dart that's in the target. So this, I think, has the potential to be the strongest single target attack. Uh, then we have Storm Dart, where this is basically just going to be our AoE. The level 3 charge of this sends off multiple waves and then a large one. Uh, and then we have Seeker, and this bounces back and forth between targets. So I'm not sure why it did so much damage to the single target. I think it's basically like I had like multiple darts on the target, and so it just kept like repeatedly zapping him, uh, which also seems like it could be a contender for the single target damage so i'm going to be trying out both of those more to get a feel for them now besides that tempest just large this this looks like it just hits everything just large electrocution over an area uh over here we have a illusion copy that enemies attack so that's always nice uh this one we are just it's basically like a, a zip behind so we're going to do some damage and shoot behind the targets and swap over to lightning magic uh, as for some of our stuff, this one is going to make us completely invisible. This one allows us to upgrade the necklaces. That's in Junon, which we can't do just yet. Uh, and then this one is going to evade and leave a copy of yourself. So, interesting on that one. Just hold the button and press both. Uh, we're looking at our support, so we have distortion. This is going to confuse everything that gets hit by it. That sounds pretty nice. This is going to do a spread of darts, which will mark alongside our regular darts. So that's just more damage. Uh, over here we have projection, which we saw in the fight. That's just a straight spear with an AOE explosion. Compulsion, which is going to summon the mines. Uh, honestly, I like this one a lot. This, this it reminds me of Banshee Mines from uh, Evolve. Uh, and then uh, we have Sublimination, of course, which is gonna be absorbing life. And then Compensation, which is going to get our Surge Magic going more quickly anytime we evade. So, uh, I mean, honestly, out of all the trees, Olas's magic seems pretty busted. Uh, but either way, let's continue along. The, the controller, it's on its last legs. We have the beeping. So at some point in this episode, the controller is going to die. But that's fine. I've, I've had a timer running for the entire day of recording to see exactly what the battery life is on the dual shock edge right now we're at it five was hours we and 40 minutes Sussurra, so. away in the bracelets and we who locked our power away within you they really are doing like just a an exposition bomb towards the end of this game back in sila's domain huh like we're learning right, a lot which is good see what happened next but frankly speaking i would have i would have much preferred we like learn things along the way versus like knowing nothing having Frey just be this angsty uh angsty angry character and then all of a sudden hey here's an hour and a half of dialogue he claws ceaseless theater minds from within and yet you resist him still you are stronger than him any strength I have is the gift of the child within me. Whatever it may be, you will surely outlast me. I fear I have but a few days left. When I finally succumb, the corruption will engulf not just Pranost, but Janoon as well. And I had so wanted to meet the one who sleeps inside you. I beg of you, Sinta. See that my people come to no harm. Please, Sila, do not say such things. We all must keep fighting. So that's how it started. He was eating away at them. I still can't get over the fact that I just ballpark guessed that Cuff was the bad guy, and then he was imprisoned in the Cuff, but somehow corrupted the mines, and that's, like, note for note exactly what the plot was. Like, just, oh my god, cracks me up. Alright, so, Seeker Darts. Yeah. Boom, 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 boom. So that seems pretty good. Let me see. I'll see something here, so, one dart. 
So I'm getting 36 per zap. We're just going to test some stuff on some basic itch break zombies. Like 30, 36 per zap. Singular zap, C35, whatever. Uh, okay. On a pull start. Whoa, pull start, I'm hitting 82. And it looks like mm. the Seeker darts have uh. some AoE potential as well. No? No, they don't. It's cool seeing it be like bang, 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 bang. Mm. So anything that is in the thing will get hit and additional lightning strikes for anything that I pop off. I mean, so far, pulse start seemed. It seems like a single pulse start hit is just doing devastating amounts of damage. The painting of the purge is finally complete. Where would you like us to hang it? At the head of the corridor that leads from the throne room. Tanta Sila, is that really. It is as much a part of our history as any other. Our children must know the true cost of war, the pain, the sacrifice. But, Tante Sila, I... Do you recall the tapestry I once gave you? And what I told you on that day? Yes, of course. True power can only be wielded by those prepared to see their duty done. I have carried those words with me ever since. As you should. You will soon be made General Darks, and with greater power will come greater sacrifice. There may come a time when your duty will demand much of you. Remember those words, and let them give you strength. That's why the painting was there. Seems like a silent thing to do all right. <sighs> Cuff was with me when I saw it. I wonder what he was thinking. I'm assuming we get back a non angry cuff. So with two in you, let's see. So we're hitting, we're hitting 125 on average. One twenty-five and then eighty-five. One twenty-five, eighty-five, fifty-six. So is the damage going down? Progressively with each additional, I think. Yeah, it is. The the damage starts dipping down. Okay. Yep. Yeah. What about with this? So we're seeing 55. That damage started scaling up. Interesting. So if I were to really load up on these. In theory, Seeker Darts, this should get into like 55, 77, 92, 111. I don't think it actually did that much. Ah. 
Oh, the darts start to fade out after time, too. So it seems like it tops out. Yeah. There's a there's a maximum amount of damage that we can get with this. Oh. It's not gonna do like it's not gonna just build up infinitely. Two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, it's consistently stopping at six strikes. I mean, I like I like the the flare of that more. I also like that that's a burst. When that goes out, it's just like boom, 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 boom. Everything swings in and hits at the same time. So, yeah, I I'm probably gonna go for pulse start as my my primary here. I'll probably go pulse start level three. I just like freely roam the map. I, mean, I don't really care about roaming right now. I, I just want, I want some more mana. Oh, speak of the devil. We level our pulse starts up to three. And I need like one more. I think it was 38. Come on, game. One, one mana. In one mana. I see one. Let's, let's hit all these guys up. I wanna. Do a, a like actual combat test of my magic. So that's gonna zip out. It's gonna hit everybody. Felt good. It felt good. Just boom, 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 boom. Everyone's gonna hit. Yeah. Yeah. That that right there. The fact. I think it's still only six. Even with multiple targets, we're still only going to get six lightning bolts total. Uh. Uh. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. Disappointing. Pulse start gets the magic leveling then. I'm fine with that. I like pulse start. It's cool. from me. Gimme, 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 gimme. Subjects. Oof. Ha! The pitiful die just as they live. And the rest! The weak must be purged that the strong might live! Someone! Help! No! Holy shit. She completely changed. That was the Scylla who attacked Sapal. How much blood is on Cuff's hands? Where did it go? I don't think it went over this way, but... Over to that house, maybe? Ah! Danger, danger! Ah! Wait, where? 
Oh, okay. Got turned around. Excuse me, y'all. You should be able to do that while you're running so that I can time it right. Could you, could you come down here, please? You're, you're being kind of annoying. Staying a hundred freaking feet in the air. Yep. Alright, this is... Well, listen, all I'm trying to do is hit you with my cool new lightning spells that I just upgraded. Why are you, why are you being like this? to use my other magic, but since you want to sit in the sky. It's not, I'm not getting enough damage in this damn thing. I thought this was a good idea for a boss fight. try out my new magic on you, but since you want to be a pain in the ass. Oh, come on, back up, back up, back up, back up, come on, back up, damn it, Frank, climb, these rooftops, man. I like the parkour in this game, but sometimes they just jank city. I want to use lightning, but this damn thing is too, it's too finicky. And it's coming out of range too much for me to consistently get damage in with lightning. Man, I'm missing. 
refunded poison a while ago. Okay, we learn. I don't really care about screen, but I, I might pick it up again at some point. Gotta be one of the worst boss fights Square Enix has ever concocted. Like, this is bad. Not challenging, it's not engaging. I'm just trying to. trying as, as hard as I possibly can just to hit this stupid thing. Who designed this? Yeah. It's like they got the A and the B team working on Final Fantasy 15. So they took the leftover devs that had like you know, cool what they were doing with boss design and they were like, yeah, here you go, make this thing. Ready? Are we being attacked by something? I don't have time for y'all. Shit, again. Stop that. Die. I'm hitting it. Let's see if I can get on top of this tower. I could, I would just run away. Like honestly, this is this is very, very annoying. Stay over there. You're not gonna. It's not. It's gonna stay floating over there. I was actually like, you know, even though I'm not a big fan of it, the whole uh, story time with the Tantas was slowly growing on me. And I wasn't completely disliking it. That is until it turned into fight the bird who is out of range of your fucking attacks. The, what, what, what is the range? How close do I need to be to hit you? Seems like a hundred foot is the sweet spot. Go over there. Come on. Stay over here. Come on. dead. Wow, what an incredibly tedious encounter. Senta, I finally feel it. This power, it feels right. It is mine. Precisely. You are my blood, Alfre. You are one of us. Our power is yours, and it shall bind us. Always. Always. But why did she leave me behind then? If Cinta loved me so much, 
Why did she let me go? Let's do this. Ugh, the boss fight sucked. Even imprisoned in the bracelets we created, the demon continued to spread its corruption and to poison our minds. But you were my rock. My everything. I resisted. And at last you were born. Alas, the corruption finally crept into Janum not long afterward. The end beckoned. Where am I now? This looks like... Janoon. Mm, yeah, let's keep following. did to this place. Fuck. So many innocent people. But where are you going, Mummy? I have to go to pray lost, Woody. I'm sorry. I, I can't come with you. Your mother is going to help people. She's a hero. I... I know, but... I know, Woody. I'm going to miss you too. Just... Remember... That I love you. And I love you. I... I made something for you and Daddy. What's this? A bookmark? Oh, Woody. It's beautiful. What a lovely picture. That's the three of us. Together. Forever. Wow. Auden's always been a sweetheart. state but I will pray for your success and I will not rest until I have succeeded daddy aren't you coming with me not right away Woody. but I'll be back before you know it I promise no don't leave me daddy daddy please come now Auden you must step through the Tirana you will be safe there and your father will be fine, I am sure. Oh, this is so hard to watch. <laughs> You're telling me. I've done nothing but sit through dialogue for the last hour. Well, that's not completely true. I did test out the, the fine mechanics of my electrical dart for a little bit and fight a terrible boss fight. Soon I will be the last to... to turn. 
Just a few more to save and then... I must do one last thing. No. Santa. It's <laughs> going crazy out here. I wonder if the dad is involved at all. How did Cuff get there? This building used to be here? What happened to it? This place... It feels... so familiar. Baby nursery. Ah, oh, man. All right. We we still got more dialogue coming, so let's wrap things up here. Um, we'll continue through with Baby Frey in a little bit. So y'all stay tuned. Hopefully, we're making this up to like a final boss battle in a little bit, and I'll catch you all then. But we'll see what happens. <laughs>